Howdy, howdy, and welcome to Gaming with Hellfire. We are Guild Wars Day 5 for Gems of War. Now let me tell you, after yesterday, I don't know what to expect today. <laughs> oh, and I didn't get played yesterday. Okay. So far, I've already lost one today. But let's get into it. We're playing a 10,000 team. It has a couple of good cards on here. But let's see. All right. Hard to pick a place to start when you legit need like everything. <laughs> Oh, in case I you didn't know, Dragon Soul, 11 random gems, um, 8 to all enemies, boosted by the number of allies, dragon allies, and they're all dragons, so. And there's 4 cards total, so that's going to be about 20 damage per card. Uh, let's see, convert all blue gems to a chosen, chosen color, enchant a random ally, and give them 3 magic. Uh, you know, things are happening. Explode all red gems, cleanse all allies, and give them 20 life. Doesn't get too bad until you get to the last one here. Elam is a pretty good god card. Deal 25 damage to all enemies, create 8 purple gems boosted by burning enemies. You also can't do anything to him, because he's impervious. <laughs> Which brings me to what I am trying to do today. Hmm. Sorry if I sound really bad today. I j literally just woke up. Let's see, what are we doing? Hmm. Picking between blacks and reds is always really hard for me with this team. Because it's like I really need my first one to be um, charged up, but I really, need, really need my second one to be charged up. Ooh, there it is. Every little bit helps. <laughs> Yeah, that was good for this one. But this one looks a little safer. Getting there. Hey, look, I'm gonna win one. Watch we say that, and then he comes back and he's like, "Devour all of you." Just kidding. Might do it. Awesome. Woo, woo. All right. Mako. Three infernal kings and the pearl of wisdom. So let's see, convert green gems to skulls and brown to red. 26 scatter damage. Create seven gems of a chosen type. Submerge a random ally and give them one magic. And you start with 50%. Alright. So there's good things and bad things about this. Like, if he gets on a roll, it's gonna hurt. But his first three cards all have the same colors because they're all the same card. And he's very smart for putting his hero card in last because without that, this team, I think, would not work as well. Um, let's see. I don't know when I got rid of his first card. That's okay. You can submerge. What? Oh, he has the dinghy that does the thingy. 
Shame on you. Alright. Why well, I gave him that. Alright, so I need to get everybody manned up because when he goes, it's like it's not even going to matter. Let's see what's happening. It's actually pretty cool. It's pretty smart. Um, all I can do is thank him for all the ammo. Goodness. Oh, come on. He doesn't need any help. <laughs> Every little hit. Awesome. You see how quickly that could have gotten, like, super out of control? Oh, he's a 591. Nice. I'm not even going to try that name. <laughs> oh, no. I have not fought one of these in forever. It's the Guardian cards. So he has Justice, create 15 gems, a mix of blue and a chosen type. Give 15 life and attack to all other allies, boosted by frozen enemies. Thankfully, he's not fully traded. Alright, Humility, create 15 gems, a mix of yellow and a chosen type. Give 27 points to a random skill to all other allies, boosted by silenced enemies. Unfortunately, this one is fully traded. So is this one. Create 15 gems, a mix of red and a chosen type. Give 18 attack to all other allies, boosted by burning enemies. And y'all, this, this could be a very, very, very rough team. This one's also fully traded. Loyalty. Create 15 gems, a mix of green and a chosen type. Give 26 life to all other allies, boosted by entangled enemies. Alright. It's going to be a toughie. It's either going to be really easy or really tough. Mm. What? They're already... Oh, I needed my dragon team for this. Only four damage each. <laughs> That's a joke. Such a joke. Um... We're getting there. It, things are happening. Uh, okay. At least they're marked. But not for long. Not getting anywhere quickly, but goodness. There we go. Alright. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This will probably be most of the video. This is a, a team that's built, I feel like, to be very inconvenient to play against because it it wastes a lot of time but it's not the worst thing ever um, I said my everything keeps boosting every round which helps a lot so I, okay. I was like, I messed up! Oh no! <laughs> oh, he's only one level above me. Awesome. It's a decent team. It's a hard team. Can be a hard team. I'm gonna give him a that was fun thing. Just because I hadn't seen that team in such a long time. Oh no. 
All right. Chief Dargon, um, give 34 attack to myself and all allies below me. That's going to hurt. 50% damage reduction. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Poison Master. Uh, 28 green gems explode and poison two random enemies. I'm not even trying that name. Deal 33 to true damage to all enemies. Boosted by stuff. And Scorpia still 48 damage to the last two enemies. The damage is lethal on any poisoned enemies. I really feel like I should have pulled my dragon team out of everything. No, I'm like death marking people. Um, oh, my puppers has to go out for her morning lay on the porch. And I can't oblige. I can't. Okay, let's see. Alright. Just got to get rid of two of these cards and that will help so much. Before they dis decide to destroy me completely. Gonna have to go in for it. Alright. Oh, I hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Like, I don't have enough problems going on right now. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, I gave him fuel for... Ugh. Why? Why did I do that? This is rough, y'all. Doing way better than yesterday, but <laughs> it's still rough nonetheless. Let's see. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Very helpful. Yep, alright, one card to go. Alright. Alright. Yes. Alright guys, so the first time this week I will be facing the Paragon which is the person that does the best in the previous Guild Wars for your entire guild. Is that Mistvane? No idea. All right, so it is a siren plus a goblin team. No bend brothers. Gain an extra turn and either eliminate 22 attack from all enemies or deal 22 damage to all enemies or explode 22 gems. Gain an extra turn and either explode all green gems or give 23 points of a random skill to a random ally. If the ally is a goblin, give double the effect. That's Princess Fizzbang. Queen Grapplepot. Deal 24 damage to all enemies boosted by ally and enemy goblins. Gain an extra turn. Siren. Deal 28 damage to an enemy and create 9 gems of one of their color. Or their mana colors. Um, and they start with full mana. I, I see that it's a 12,000 team, and I'm not sure why, unless it's based off the three goblins. But I don't know how the Siren truly, truly plays into this. But you could wait a very, very long time to get through this. But as long as you get at least one of the goblins gone... You're typically on the safer, safer side, but 
Never know. I do not have good luck with these sometimes. Luckily, Emperor Korvash is going to be pulling a lot of his own weight today. <laughs> See, there's three cards that something happened. See? See what they do? And they do that, and they just keep going, and they keep going, and they keep going. It's flipping insane. Um, gonna have to go ahead and do this one. I'm gonna have to come down and do this, which does hardly anything. So I said, you really, really have to get rid of two. This, this team has killed me. And that's what's so dangerous about this team, is it just, it laps you, it repeats you. Until you die. You get no kudos for that, because I feel like that's just... That's just a safe team. I didn't know how the Siren was going to play in. It played in really well. Not a fan of yours at this point. I want to see, like, different teams. That was only slightly different. But it's okay. It's whatever. Um, I got four of them today. The fifth one, most of my guild, most of my higher ranking guild mates should be able to defeat, no problem. Um, that looks like Starkey has started his, and he has walked away. Or he is currently playing. Well, let's see. Destiny lost the lost one. Laser did good. Micus did good. Um, Psychic reform has started hers. Rod, ah, oh, Rod. And of course, we have a bunch of people that are not really playing anymore. So at least he's holding out. I know three and two really hurts, but sometimes. And see, now this makes me a little angry. When they pop up as 0, zero that means they have gone through and left every battle. So you don't get as many points if you leave the battle, like if you retreat. And he's left 19 battles to get where he's at right there. And that actually makes me kind of mad. But... We're doing good overall. Um, we're not close enough for that to actually matter right now. Um, there is one more day. And I will see you guys. Oh, wait. Is today not day five? What is today? Is today day six? Oh, my goodness. I forgot. So today is Sunday. So it's the last day of Guild Wars. So it is... Six. I don't know if I said day five before, but it's day six. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you guys had a really good Guild Wars week. Enjoy them more than I do. Let me know which team did I face that really you think would have wrecked you or that you're going to copy. But, all right, guys. I will see you in the next Gems of War or whatever it is I'm doing this week. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and go down to the bottom there and hit the little dingling bell so you can get notified on things that are coming out next. Bye!